So we're talking about the um, the housing crisis. Do you think that what you've heard from the government today is the way forward? Is it something that you would agree with based on your experiences? What is the one thing that needs fixing most when it comes to housing in this country? Let's take a call. Will's in Camberwell in South London. Hi, Will. Do you know what I fear is the real problem is the what's referred to as the leasehold scandal. So there's an estate near me, the Aylesbury estate, and yeah. if you look on there, they're whacking up loads of new tower blocks. They're planning to do that up until around 2050. But the reality is, that even including myself, you're not buying the property. What you're buying is a lease. And with shared ownership, like what I've got, uh, it's 99 years. So you buy a lease for 99 years. One guy I have spoke to, he did the same thing 18 years ago. When he comes to extend the lease, because it shoots up at below 80 years, then it just goes up every single year. And that process of extending, um, you have to get your own lawyer in, and there's no regulation at all, and it's, it's just an expensive, ridiculous situation. Um, coming to a conclusion, the, the law society have spent years looking at, um, looking at a way of making this, getting rid of the red tape. And so that they would say, for example, there's a simple multiplier applied to uh, what you purchase the flat for. You can extend your lease for 999 years. Sadly, this news broke a couple of weeks ago on the same day as uh, the Russia report. So you won't have heard much <laughs> about it. But if you search for leasehold knowledge partnership uh, and others, leasehold reform, leasehold scandal, you'll realize that to buy a flat in the UK... Uh, is not really buying the flat. It's oh essentially a long-term rental thing, yeah. and I think that is where reform is. I know. I've, 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 I've owned how many properties? How many times have I? One, two, three, four. So I've made four moves since um, buying, getting on the first rung. I've never felt they were my house ever. I've, I've, you know, I've always owed money on it. There's always been a big mortgage to pay. I've never felt that is my house. Even if I paid off this latest mortgage on my small flat, pff, I don't think I'll ever own it. Not the bricks and the mortar and the space. I'll live in it, be fine, but I won't have to pay a rent. But there's other things you have to pay for all the time. This is LBC, leading Britain's conversation with Ian Payne.